Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel and today we have something really cool to share with you and we use the latest cutting edge technology GPT-4 to create a tool that is called Wolverine that gives your Python script regenerating healing abilities. It means you can build a script that can run other scripts with the self healing capabilities. So how does it work? First, you have to set up a virtual environment and install the Python dependencies. Then you can add your own OpenAI API key to enable the powerful capabilities of GPT-4. Now, you are ready to use the Wolverine. Just run the Python script with Wolverine and if it crashes, GPT-4 will automatically edit the code and explain what went wrong. But it does not stop here. Wolverine does not give up easily. It keeps rerunning the code with the generated edits until it's fixed, e even if there are multiple bugs. It likes having an AI powered debugging assistant that can never get tired. But this is just a quick prototype. There are many possible extensions to make Wolverine more powerful. For example, you can customize the usage by adding flags, improve the edit formats. You can even use Wolverine to for other programming languages as well. And this whole program credit goes to amazing work done by Bio Bootloader that created this kind of a Git repository. The credit is awesome and we are showcasing it to you today. So whether you are a beginner or struggling with coding errors or experienced developer look uh, and looking to save time and effort, Wolverine powered by GPT-4 can be a game changer for you. Now let's dive into the code and see how it works. So let me just explain you in a very storytelling way like I am telling you the story of a X-Men. So once upon a time there was a Python script that was designed to run other scripts. The script has a special ability. It could automatically fix scripts that crashed due to errors. Let's call this script the error fixer. The error fixer has some dependencies including diflib, fire, json, os, shutil, subprocess, sys, openai, term color. These all the libraries that are needed to run this script. These, de de these dependencies help the error fixer or Wolverine to perform various tasks such as running other scripts, making backups, sending error messages to the AI model for suggestions, apply changes to the scripts and showing differences between the original and the modified script. To use this Wolverine or error fixer, you need to provide the name of the script you want to run as, as well as any argument that script required. The error fixer or Wolverine would then attempt to run the script. Then it will provide arguments using the subprocess module from the Python standard library. If the script successfully run without any errors, the Wolverine would print a message saying script run successfully along with the output. But if script will crash and encountered an error, the error fixer will swing into action and fix the issue. It would capture the error generated by the crash script and send it to the o OpenAI API model and then ask for suggestions that how to fix it. The AI model would provide a response containing suggestions changes to the script in the form of a JSON response. The error fixer or Wolverine then parse that JSON response to extract the suggested changes such as replacing deleted or inserting lines of code. It will apply these changes to the original script by using the shutil module to make a backup of the original script before making any modifications. Then it will show the explanations provided by the AI module for the changes made as well as a diff highlight means what is the difference between the original and the changed script. The error fixer or Wolverine would continue this process of running the modified script with the suggested changes until the script runs successfully without any errors. If the user wanted to revert the changes to the any stage, they could use a flag called revert to restore the backup of the original script. The Wolverine also had an option to choose which version of AI you want to use. The default is GPT-4, which is the latest and allow it allowed the users to experiment with different AI, uh, AI models it can use. We just need the APIs for that. And there is a big news from Google as well. They just released a cutting edge solution for code generation called self debugging and it's a game changer. This new approach teaches a large language model to debug its own code using natural language explanation. Just, just, just like a rubber duck debugging. Even without feedback on correctness or error messages, 
this model can identify its own mistake and improve its performance on complex performing tasks in fact self debugging has achieved a state of art results on popular benchmarks like text to sql c++ to python conversions text to python conversions on simple natural language on the spider benchmark where there is no test units like unit tests self debugging improves the baseline by 2 3% and boost prediction accuracy on the toughest problem by whopping 9% and on benchmark with the unit test it improved baseline up to 12% plus self debugging is super sufficient in terms of sample uses and can even outperform models that generate 10 time more candidate programs this is a game changer for code code and generation you don't miss it because the wolverine is just a small step towards the self healing code and this research paper from the google about a self debugging is just another state of art thing in the nlp and in the code generation by large language models and that's it for today and we hope you find it informative and interesting don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel for more exciting content thanks for watching we'll we'll see you in the next video thank you guys Thank you.